I was trying to go live for a little minute right here. And I think the reason I couldn't go live because I had a negative mindset about something. And you know, like, this is how I look at stuff. Positive, negative. Um, I feel like sometimes things don't go our way because we have a, a negative mental about the situation. So when we try to do something for the wrong reason, it don't always work how we expect it to work or it don't work at all. And then once we take a moment to gather ourselves, then we notice the issue go away. You know, and what I'm speaking on is a while ago I had got on cat because in her job, she created a million dollar idea. She created a million dollar more. I would say more than a million dollars. She created a, a a system at her job that somebody else took the credit for. And I got on her about that because you keep creating ideas for other people to steal because you don't want to get up in front of the class or you don't want to be the focus point on this idea but that's your idea you cannot let people steal your ideal and make millions of dollars off it and then as i was taking my shower just a minute ago i said to myself well i done did the same thing when it comes to this 2k stuff and i had a negative mindset to get on here and I said I wasn't going to speak negatively, but I still had it in my head a little bit that I have created so many ideas that other people are using this day, making thousands of dollars off. And I was trying to go live, but I was telling myself I'm not going to speak on it negatively. It's, it's cool. So I'm not going to speak on it negatively. But what I will say, is we have to stop letting other people shine from our glory by us not attacking the glory that we have, the gifts that we have. Nobody is not going to see $100 bills on the ground and not pick it up. If there's nobody around, it's $100 bills on the ground. I don't know who it's belonged to. This is my $100 now. Some of us are creating amazing ideas some of us have amazing gifts but we're not using them we're not using the gifts that we have inside of us we allow other people to watch us steal our gifts and they're running off to glory i'm not angry that i have shared so many ideas i have created so many avenues in this 2k community there are so many people right now are being watched today from using anonymous 2K TV strategy, from using his ideas, from using his way of doing things. I'm not angry. But I, I do find myself saying, huh, look at him running off with my blueprint. Look at her running off with my blueprint. So many, there are so many versions of anonymous 2K TV out here. There is, and you know, this is why I'm solidified in the 2K community. This is why behind closed doors, they respect me so much. This is why I can come back to the 2K community and people won't bother me. They are leaving me alone because deep down inside, they are, they know most of the people that are big in 2K right now are using anonymous system. And we're talking about in multiple ways. In multi there are so many things that I have put into the 2K community that I started, stopped, because I didn't know how powerful I was. I didn't know how major that was. So I would start something and then stop it. And somebody else that sit in the chat that would never say, hey, good morning, Anonymous. They would never say, hey, I'm in here. But they'll watch you and they'll take your play. And they'll run with it. And they'll become successful off it. But it's not up for me to be like bitter about it. It's just for me to recognize that you have to stop 
letting your gifts be ran off with somebody else that is faking the gift. Because see, for me to create so many, see, some of us, we have so much talent inside of us, you will create something and never know how major it is. You'll be like, okay, I just came up with this idea. It ain't nothing. But somebody else will be like, bro, that's a whole, yo, shout out to my boy with the big, yo, I appreciate the love, man. I appreciate the 19 months. Truly grateful, my boy. Appreciate that water. Thank you. You will create something that I know is major. Because you're just thinking, this is, this is just normal for you. But it's not normal to have talents. It's not normal to have gifts. Everybody don't have a gift. Some people gifts are watching and studying and using what you have come up with to catapult themselves to the top of the food chain. And why many of us are sit back and be okay because in our heart of hearts, we want everybody to win. But I do can I I can't see why some people would get on the internet and say, yo, you copying me. I now understand what some people feel like when you know I was going to the internet and getting my thumbnails off the internet to put on my videos, but I had no idea that these people was paying for these thumbnails and they feel like, yo, this is my artwork that I had to pay for, and you're using my thumbnail on your video. I, I now understand that because in a in a, in a broader sense, in a major scale, yes, that thumbnail may not be as major to me, but it's major to them. So when I see people using anonymous formula that is now catapult themselves to a high status within finance, within the sense of, of being on the internet, with creating a business, I say to myself, you didn't take advantage of your opportunity. Now you're watching somebody take advantage of the opportunity you created. Look at it. It's beautiful, ain't it? It's really beautiful. It, it really make me feel like, okay, I'm special. I'm seeing multiple people use my formula and they're doing it. They're doing it. They're moving. They're grooving out here. And I had to defeat my ego this morning because my ego was telling me to come on here and say something about it negatively. But I'm not going to say anything about it negatively. I'm just going to say for y'all that are watching me, if we don't take advantage of our own gifts, somebody else is watching us and they're going to run with the gift that we have and they're going to sell it because it's not in them, but they're going to be great sellers. Of your gifts. That's just like I was telling Kat. She created a million dollar idea at her company. But somebody else went and stole the idea to the corporation. Now they're going to make bonuses and, and millions of dollars off for her idea. Because we don't step up and do our own gifts. We allow other people to read our talents. Share our gifts. Share our talents. You have to start taking control of your own gifts or else you're going to watch people constantly come into your life study you study this is real people start studying other creators because everybody don't have a gift to create content everybody don't have a gift to hit live and come up with ideas that gonna catapult their content creation so some people have to go out here and study the market. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. That's what you, you if you want to build a business, you got to go, what, what we said yesterday, success, leave clues. But sometimes us that are the creator of this success, we have to stop tiptoeing around what we have. Because everybody else can see your gift. And guess what? You're being told that, yo, you have something special, boy. Girl, you have something special, man, woman. You have something special. Because it, it's not like people are not telling you. Because one thing about a gift, other people can see a gift. And they'll let you know, yo, boy, boy, you a hooper. You just a natural. Yo, man, you a linebacker, dog. I can see it in you. You just a natural. Boy, you a nice DB. You a great quarterback. It's a natural. 
You're a great reader. It just, you're a natural. You're a great painter. You just a natural. You're a great artist. You just a natural. It just come to you. Yo, we see you shining. You're a great motivation speaker. It just come to you. We can see it on you. But guess what? Now that I just said that, sometimes the gift that we are having, maybe God has another plan for us. Maybe we are not supposed to have that gift. Maybe we are supposed to put that blueprint out there for others because that's, the, that's their way of moving to the top. Maybe that's that. I don't know. But that just came to me, you know, because... We're never on the wrong track of life. So we're never not doing what we're not meant to do. We are doing exactly what we meant to do. But it just, I guess that ego was pulling me this morning as I was thinking about it. Like, man, all these copycats of Anonymous 2K TV. There are so many versions of me out here in this 2K community. There are so many versions of me. And my ego was saying, like, we going to say something about this, but I can never let my ego win this battle because it's not the first time I felt like this, but I can never let my ego win that battle to get on here and, and, and shit on things. God timing is never wrong. Facts. So that's what I said. That's why I said my ego was playing a, uh, playing a role on me this morning and I was trying to go live and I couldn't go live y'all. I just kept trying. I tried like six, seven times. It was like seven times before I can go live. But guess what, though? This is what we know about when we sit on something. Because I kept trying to go live, that seven tries, it wouldn't go live. I had already started to accept, okay, you know your ego is trying to play on you. That's why you can't go live right now. God is holding that from you because if you go live right now, you might get on here and try to shit on the people that are copying your style and you might try to get on here and be negative and you not trying to be negative because you don't want your audience to have that type of negative energy in their heart by watching you pour it all onto them. No. So that's why I'm saying I'm not coming from this at a negative angle. What I'm saying, y'all, let's start running with our own gifts. Let's not be upset that somebody else is taking what we have created when we're not doing nothing with it. If you're not doing nothing with your gift, what you think it's going to do? If you don't work out, can you look like this? Can your muscles stay up? No, they go down, right? If you don't read, do you, do you become a better reader? Or do, you, do you decrease as a reader? You decrease what you don't use. So we have talents. We have gifts. Let's use our gifts. And if you're not going to use your gift, then let's give them away. Let, let's be creators. That's, what, that's why we seen when the writers went on strike, the, 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 the movie scripts looking a little poor. The, 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 the stories in Hollywood, they, they don't make sense. We're like, damn, man, they could have had a better plot twist than this. Because the real gift writers... When on strike, they had to get the substitute writers to come in and, and, and give us some new TV shows and some new movies. But the new movies ain't hitting like that because the gifters is on strike. So that's what I'm saying, y'all. We have to not go on strike within ourselves. Let's take our talents. Let's run with our talents. And if we're not going to use our talents, then let's, let's give them away freely so we don't have to watch somebody come and copy them by sitting in your shadow and just look at him. Mm, okay, that's how he doing that. Okay, that's how she doing that. Mm, free. Okay, I see that. I'm going to start doing that right now. So we don't have to feel that, that kind of little hatred, that kind of little anger that, that might pop up because she's like, look at this motherfucker stealing my style. So let's not get, let's, let's do better with, with homing in on our own purpose, our own gifts, our own talent, because we all have a talent. We all have a gift, but a lot of us are not letting our gifts shine and we're, we're not giving them away freely. So we are watching other people come in through the back door saying that they, I support you. I'm going to be around. I'm a friend, but they really look into plots. They really look into plots. So. You know what I'm saying? Salute to all the um, content creators. Salute to all the people that are using their gifts. Because some people's gifts might be to copy. We know there are some great 
um what they call them um imposters um i think that's the word i'm looking for they not that yeah you know stunt doubles you know some people say great stunt doubles you know that's their gift you know hey i'm a stunt double for the rock you know and i do a good job you know he known for it yo that's the rock stunt double right there you know they say the rock has one of the best stunt doubles in the world in the world like that dude right there he just owned it he been watching the rock for so long he just everything he know how to do all the mannerism he know how to do everything so you know that's some people go but i'm just saying for us creators us creators of of content with using that imagination because everybody don't use that imagination some people have turned that off see that's what a creator is a creator is somebody that can go inside of here and bust out that imagination and that imagination is so powerful that we see kids doing amazing things and see some of us we haven't lost that ability to create up here we haven't lost that ability to go outside of the box because there's a lot of people in this world they have stopped creating up here that's when you start to intake other people content so much you start to watch everybody else live their life and you stop living your life see when you got an imagination you can always create you can always go out here and try something new but when you don't got no imagination you got to get on damn what i'm eating today let me see what they cooked on instagram okay let me see let me see what my favorite celebrity is eating what restaurant he like see my imagination don't allow me to go copy what you doing in your life no i will copy success I will study success, but I pay homage. See, I'm the type of guy that say a lot of my information, I will go learn from the greats, and I will always pay homage. You feel me? My boy said 95% of people don't think Napoleon Hill said that. That's a quote from Napoleon Hill. And that's true. We know, we know it, right? We know it. And it's just like when I was going to school. The teachers used to be disappointed because I was so smart, but I would rather cheat off somebody else's test. And they couldn't understand it. Jabarkis, everything about this class, you know. But you, you don't want to do the work. You would rather just cheat off somebody else's test. Silly. My teachers could not understand why I would rather go the easiest route when I already have the ability to outshine everybody in the class. But because I had this title as I'm the cool guy, I'm, I hang with the jocks. Like, I wasn't a jock. I was considered a cool dude. You know, you got your jocks, you got your bullies, you got your cool cool dudes, and you got your thugs. You know, I was in the cool category. So in the cool category, you know, we don't do our own work. We know we, we, know, we hang with the jocks and the bullies, but we still hang with the nerds sometimes. But, you know, we kind of like, you know, I'm too cool to be doing this. You know what I'm saying? So when you think like that, that goes back into that. I could do this, and I know I can do this. You know what I'm saying? I know I can do my work. I know how smart I am. But why would I, you know, I'm busy chasing this money. I'm busy chasing these girls. You know, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So you don't do the thing that you know you can do. You know what I'm saying? He said, uh, I was the same way, bro, but uh, you went you as far. He said, your mind don't even want to be there. Bro, you know how many people right now don't go to school until Friday and pass all the tests? And the teachers be like, look at this motherfucker. He can do this shit. Or look at her. She, she bullshit. You know, this, so, a lot of these teachers be so disappointed because they be like, you don't pay attention, but when I give out the test, you pass. Or... You, you, when I call you, you, to, you've been joking in the class all day, but as soon as I say, Mr. Lipkin, what's the answer to this problem? You come up and give me the answer. So why can't you do the work, sir? You know, but some of us, we be so, that environment, you know, we be, man, I'm out here getting it. I need to get some money. You know, I can't be waiting in this school. You know, we want the quick money. So we don't want to go through the process of school and education and stuff like that. So, you know, but not to get off topic. Let's own our gifts. Let's own our gifts. Let's own our gifts. Let's own our gifts. Let's 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 be in control of our gifts, y'all. 
Let's share our gifts to the world. Because the, like there are so many people that is hiding inside right now because they not a, they're afraid to get on this camera and share their own gifts. There are so many people right now that have a gift, but they're afraid of this camera, so they are doing it, the gift like this. Hold on. Where that? Where is it? They are doing this with the gift. Hello, everybody. This is me. Who is you? We can't see you. Come out and talk to us. You have a gift. We want to hear your gift. We don't want to see a billionaire come and steal your idea. How many people we hear come up with these movie scripts, but they don't get a chance to share their own movie script? Now, we know some of them are being stolen and some are being given away because, well, you know, I have the gift, but I, I, I'm just afraid. I, you know, I would rather you do it. So we see them hide in the back. That's on. He said, man, your God's face, don't come in here with that big boy crowd. You know what I'm trying to say. That's on our gifts. <laughs> All right, man, look. But let's get started with the, with the content. Um, let's get started with the content. So today we're going to be reacting to two videos. We got the first one with All City TV, man. Y'all already know his link will be in the description. Steve, this is what I'm saying. You see how I react to somebody's video and I tell you where to go find their original content? See, these guys that take gifts, they're not going to do that. They're still your. We're not speaking on it negatively. I'm not speaking negatively about it. But I'm just trying to explain to you when you have, when you have, uh, when you're not a, a taker, but you're trying to share something that can benefit us all. See, I'm not here to take from my brother content. I'm not here to take his content and make it mine. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not here to take his content. I'm here to share his content. I'm here to move it along. I'm basically hitting the share button, but I'm going live hitting the share button. I didn't just hit the share button. I'm sharing. I'm moving it. I'm not. Yo, yo, y'all check out my new video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, this is my brother video. But we're going to react to it because I want my audience to hear this. But at the same time, I'm saying his link is in the description on the YouTube. You go click on his channel. And if you enjoy his content through me sharing it, then you sub up to him. Then we don't take we, we, we appreciate and we show love and grace for those that are creating it. Because you have to show love to creators. It's just like we have to show love to the organization that create the business. That's why we have to give them tax breaks. I know in the world we live in, you don't want to give the millionaire the tax break, but he's the one that created the job. If you don't give him the tax break, he take his company and go put it somewhere else. So if we don't show love to the creators of jobs, you see, it goes back into, but see, a lot of us just don't have these type of morals. We want to take, yeah, he a millionaire, he a billionaire, he should need, well, how about you create a business and become a millionaire, a billionaire, and then you get your company. You feel me? If you get your company and you get your stuff, then now we're going to give you a tax break too. But you ain't put yourself in a position to be the boss. So now you mad at the boss for needing some love. Show me some love, America. I'm going to put this job here for y'all. But can y'all give me a little break on my taxes? Well, you don't need no little break on your taxes. You getting all the money anyway. Well, I'm the fucking creator. I created this job for y'all. I'm the one that got a thousand people coming in to a job. So if I take my job from y'all, where y'all go then? But we don't think about stuff like that. You feel me? And that's why I'm in it to, that's why, that's why, that's, here's why I can't be negative about people using gifts that I have created. My brother that said, my brother in the chat just said, the community needs you. So even if the community can't accept it coming from me. If there's somebody that's watching me and studying the playbook and say, I like, I like the route this young brother is going right here. He's in the 2K community talking about love. He's in the 2K community talking about steaming retention. 
He's in the 2K community talking about meditation. He's in the 2K community talking about marriage. He's in the 2K community talking about being a better father. He's in the 2K community talking about being a better wife, being a better husband. So he's in the 2K community talking about health going to the gym. He's in the 2K community talking about taking care of our hygiene. He's in the 2K community talking about making sure we get up in the morning and we, we grateful. We give gratitude. So even if they don't check me out, but there's somebody that say, man, you see what he doing? I'm going to start doing that too. It's still a blessing because I don't believe that the message got to only come through me. And that's what's wrong with a lot of us. That's why I said I can't get on here and be negative about somebody using my gift, but I can say I would acknowledge the person for using their gifts. That's like I'm going to acknowledge this brother for reacting to his video. What's good, young girl? So I understand everybody don't have to shake your hand and say, I appreciate what you have done for me in my life. I appreciate you being a big brother, a big sister. A big uncle, big auntie. You know, all of us ain't grateful for those that have helped us get to where we are today. See, I still think about the people that gave me a ride from the airport. And I hate that I don't remember their name because I was so young. But I was, I was young enough to know that I'm grateful for what they did. Coming from Biloxi, Mississippi to Atlanta Airport. Flight getting delayed twice. And these strangers... There was none black allowed this young black boy to ride with them from Atlanta, Georgia to Columbus, Mississippi. See, I, that's why I say I can't be racist because I've been in the real world where I know the color of my skin didn't matter to some people. They gave me an up. They said, we, excuse me, young man, we all finna get together and rent a car and we could just drive to Columbus, Mississippi. And uh, we know that you are stranded with us, and we will give you a ride as well if you would like to have a ride. I'm a young G coming from Job Corps, from Biloxi, Mississippi. I'm flying from Biloxi to Atlanta. Got in Atlanta, my flight got delayed twice. We staying overnight. These grown adults saying, hey, you can ride with us. Y'all know I'm a non scary person. I take chances. I ride, get in the car with these people. I was worried a little bit, but guess what? I don't got no money. I'm a young boy. I'm a young boy. Flying from Columbus, flying from Biloxi, Mississippi to Atlanta, Georgia. These group of non-black people say I can ride with them from Atlanta, Georgia to Columbus, Mississippi. They got a rental car. I don't got no money. It's okay. You know, you don't need nothing. We know you're trying to get home. We're going to get you home. Huh? Y'all going to take me with y'all? I'm a little black boy. I don't supposed to be getting in the car with y'all. Y'all are strangers. No. -uh. Well, you know me. I don't care. I take chances. That's what I do. I pop up. These people that took me all the way to Columbia, Mississippi, buying me, stop. Wherever they stop, they make sure I got something to eat. That's why I said I don't been in a situation that. Can't nobody tell me to look at the world with color, color glasses on. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Nobody can't do me like that because I'd have been in a situation where I'd be like, I'd have traveled around the United States and I'd have seen things. I'd have seen things. I'd have been in a situation that say, you don't supposed to be in them type of situations. Well, I'd have been in them situations. So that's all I'm saying. I'm grateful. I, I, I'd have had incidents where people that showed me love. And so that's why I say I can, I, I'm forever grateful. I done had incidents where my lights were cut off and I go to somebody and I say, I done, I done spent all my money on 2K. You know, I ain't been disciplined. My light bill, $400. I had to pay my rent. You mind if I borrow some money? I, I hate to be the guy. My pride is so high, but I had to ask because I got tired of using the candles. I used the candles for three days, and I just said, Yo, I'm going to ask, and I ask, and that person said, well, how much you need? I said, I need three something. They said, I'm going to give you 500. I said, what? I'm forever grateful. 
See, I done had people that have come into my life where I can never be a taker. I can never take from people. I can always have gratitude. I may can't be able to pay everybody back that have ever done something for me, but it's in here and it's locked in there. For me to ever be grateful for those men and women all over the world that have poured into me, that have helped me. And you know, I used to say, I would change a lot about me, but I was talking to my mentor the other day, and I call him my mentor. You know, Cat don't think he gave me all the right advice, but it's okay. Ain't nobody gonna give you all the right advices, but I call him my mentor. And I said, man, I would change this about me if I, if I could change. He said, no, don't you change nothing because if you change anything, there's a chance that you cannot be this man that you are today. If you change anything about you, we watch the movies. We see what they do when they go back in the past and they just pick up a piece of paper out the street and change everything about the future. So, I can't change nothing about me because the man I am today is so beautiful. I am not perfect. I make mistakes. But I try so hard to live a righteous life. I try so hard to be a better brother. I try so hard to be a better father. I try so hard to be a better boyfriend. I try so hard to not be a dog in the street. I try so hard to not to be a game banger. I try so hard not to be a thug. I try so hard not to be a waste of life. I try so hard to be a better son. I try so hard to be a better motivator. I try so hard to be a better understanding, understander of the world. I know that the man I am today cannot be this man if I didn't go through all that stuff that I went through. I try so hard not to take. I try so hard to show love. I try not, so hard not to have hatred. You feel me? So the people that have ever done something for me in here, I may not can remember all of them, but boy, it's locked in there. And that's why I can never walk out here and, and not have love for others because people had love for me. See, it's easy for, I can understand why a person that don't got love for nobody and say, ain't nobody had love for me. Well, see, I can't, I don't have that story. I don't have that story. I had somebody to let me sleep in their basement while they moved to another place and they know that's illegal. But they say, you don't got nowhere to go. I say, I don't got nowhere to go. Can we sleep in your basement? Well, you know, we about to move. I said, I know, but can we just stay in this basement? You know what I'm saying? I tell the people come and kick us out. Cause you know, when you moving from a house, you know, whoever the owner of that house is, you know, they're going to come after that person moved out. So the person that moved out said, yeah, y'all can stay here for as long as y'all. I mean, until the people come. It's going to be on y'all, though. It ain't on me now. I said, hey. But you know, no people allow that. I done had cousins and friends to allow you to sleep on their couch while I'm trying to get myself together. So I can't go out here with the hatred in my heart because I done seen the love of others. I done seen what people would do when they extend their hand and say, come on, get up. Get up now. I don't want to get up right now. I'm hurt. Get up. When I lost my baby mother to a car accident, and I had to raise my oldest daughter by myself for some years with my father's help. It was scary. It was scary. But there was people that was rooting for me and said, you, gonna, you got it. You're going to be all right gonna be all right i said man no this ain't right i'm a man it would have been better if i died than her no she should have still been here she the mother she can she know how to take care of a baby i'm a man i don't know what to do you gonna be all right let's just calm down it's gonna be okay i have people that say that shit so i can't go out here with this heart that say the world is evil. There's bad peoples out here. But there's a lot of good peoples out here that will pull you up and say, you're going to be okay. Keep going forward. You got it. It's okay. It's tough right now, but you got it. Man, I'm just saying, dog.
I'm just saying, well, let's get started with the content. Let's get started with the content, man. Let's get the, the moral of what I was saying is own your own gifts or give them away. If you're not going to use your talents, give them away so you don't have to watch somebody take them behind your back and, and, and be a copycat version of you. But if, you, if you're using your talents, you don't have to worry because you're going to get blessed for using your talents. But if you're not going to use them, give them away. That way you don't have to feel some type of way when you see somebody studying you. Studying you. you know. So own your gifts. Own your gifts or give them away. All right, let's get started with the content today, man. Once again, we got All City TV up here, man. Y'all make sure y'all go check out his content if you're rocking with him. You already know he's going to come with that fire. Uh, the link is in the description on my YouTube channel. But if you don't want to click on that link, you can just type in his name, and I'll show it to you right here. It's All City Live TV, man. Um, I guess I ain't subscribed on this channel. This, this, this is my page right here. I just subscribe on this one. But this is my page right here where I don't have ads. So I'm not on my personal YouTube right here. Let's get started. So this right here is talking about these patches with the 2K. You know, 2K been dropping all these patches. And in my personal opinion, 2K25, there is no help for it. You know, it's over with. Um, some of y'all may feel different about that. 2K25 is done. I don't know if 2K have any more purpose in them to make a game about basketball. Anybody in their right mind know that this game is not about basketball anymore. For the last, for the last three years, it hasn't been about basketball. I appreciate that, uh, Gold Space. <laughs> For the last three years, it hasn't been about basketball. And I think that we are in a situation where corporations, and I've been saying this, have I not? What's good, gang? Have I not saying, have I not been the guy, what's good, my G? How you doing, old man? Have I not been the guy that said, when 2K allowed those sponsors, when 2K, 2K went after the sponsors, and when the sponsors got into our game, that was the day we lost our game for his basketball. For us, my basketball players, we lost our game to money. And as a corporation, as a person that's understanding of business, we get it. 2K hit the jackpot. They got to get sponsored by some of the biggest brands in the world so in their eyes they conquer exactly what they wanted to conquer but it's us that has to suffer it's the core basketball community that has to suffer in the midst of them conquering they hit the jackpot they got the biggest brands in the world behind them so what corporation is not sitting back smoking their cigar Pouring them a glass of that bourbon uh, uh, and kicking their feet up. They are comfortable. But they have punished the core basketball audience. They have punished us for the last three to four years. We are taking a backseat to money. And that's what made me think it's over with for us. For the core basketball audience, I don't think we can get this game back. We're talking about billions of dollars. I don't think we have a chance to compete with that. Yo, let's look at real life. Is the NFL changing for money? Do they change rules? Look at the rules that they did to the NBA. You see how they brought the European rules over to American basketball so that the, um, the European basketball players could integrate? Hold on. Am I... I'm not talking nonsense, right? Y'all do understand what happened to basketball, right? The European players was not able to adapt to the system of the American-style basketball. It was too physical. I ain't talking nonsense, right? Some of y'all know about this. So they had to change the rules to get the European players to play in the United States because the European players have something that the United States players don't have, a country behind them. 
So when you get something like a Lynn Sanity and you get all of China, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? When you get all of China to back a player, do you know how much money that is? When you get all of all of where Luka from to back him, when you get these players from Africa to back them, see, these players come with a country. They don't come with a state. So when you get a player that come with a country, well, the money is different. So they had to create the rules to allow these players to play here so therefore they can get that money from outside of America. Because that's because we know that Basketball is not even like basketball, not the number one sport in the United States. But you go across the country and you see, boy, they love themselves some basketball. They they love, they have a different love for basketball that we think we lunatics. No, they, they, they really love basketball. They really love sports in these other countries because most of them have countries where the sports is their way out. We think sports are our way out. No, they, that's over there. Anyway, up. Um, so, um, with that being said, I don't think personally we will ever get our game back. I think 2K has changed forever due to the sponsorships, due to the amount of money they're making. I think it's over with for us, but we can find ways to still enjoy it because although. The game will fit the minority. No, my bad. The majority. See, the minority is basketball players trying to play a basketball game. That's a minority. The majority is a bunch of people that don't know 20% of basketball. They are going to come here and enjoy themselves and take breaks of, of, of personal life to come and play this game called basketball, and they're going to shine through this game. The ones that know so much about basketball, you ain't playing this game as much. You might be really out there in the field playing basketball. So why would 2K cater to you that can only play a portion of your life when we call engagement money, right? right? Like right now, you being on this channel is engagement. So however long you stay here, that's engagement money. So the real Hooper ain't bringing in engagement money like that for 2K. So, But this guy that don't really go outside to play basketball because his love is here. He get to be a star here. His engagement time is 13 hours a day, 14 hours a day. You, the athlete, can give me a couple hours, but you got to go outside and get the real drugs. You got to go get that real basketball, uh, in that, you know, adrenaline pumping in your, in your veins. So, 2K is going to cater to the market of the majority, which is non-athletes. Ex-athletes. No, all used to be's. That's what gaming. If we had, if I had to be honest, gaming is mostly for people that are not really doing nothing with their life. Ah, should I have said that? Okay, let me reword it. Most of the people that got something to do in life can only gain for a small amount of time. You understand that, right? The people that are really busy in life, the people that got a job, the people that got a family to raise, the people that got bills to pay, the people that got trips to take, they can only play the game for a certain amount of time. Gaming is a it's designed for those that really ain't got nothing going on. So therefore they get to be lost in the source of a business. Okay. I don't want to go too far on that because that might ruffle some feathers. I ain't trying to ruffle no feathers this morning, but I'm definitely trying to explain to you that it's easy to get lost in a company strategy when you don't have no motion 
in your personal life. See, there's always going to be creators and leaders in whatever avenue you take. So there are going to be people that make it to be a seller. Okay, the seller would be Anonymous 2K TV. He's a seller for 2K. Why? Because he's the guy that have sat here for hours and played and became a star. So now you're going to tune into this star and you're going to try to recreate or be into that environment which is going to create engagement. Okay, I don't know if I'm making sense to y'all. Don't type one if I'm making sense because I sound... I don't want to sound all over the place. I want to make sure I'm, I'm making sense. 2K has sponsors in the game, which creates, you know, when you drive past a sign, you know, when you're driving on the highway, do you know that's called, you know how the sponsors be up, the billboards? That's the engagement. Do you know you have to pay hundreds of thousand dollars for some of those billboards? You know, you know the billboard that is on the highway. Okay, I can give you another. I can give you a one, one that's better. You know, you know how you go inside of a plaza. You know a plaza. A plaza, right? Do you know in to be, have a store inside of a plaza? That's called way more money than to have a store. Let's say over there in the woods because it's engagement. So, 2K get to have the guys that will 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 say, "I'm gonna be a uh, uh, I'm gonna be a uh, a placement holder." Anonymous 2K TV, um, your J Easy's, your Brutus Sims, your All City TV. We are placement holders. So we are placement holder for people. I don't want to go. I don't know if I'm making sense when I'm talking about this, but I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm saying, and I know what I'm talking about. But I don't know if I'm if I'm reaching the people with that. So I'm gonna just move forward. All right, let's get started with the with the reaction.